Hey everybody, Daniel from Space Dock here. A common trope in military science fiction is that of shipboard stealth technology and cloaking devices. These technologies often take different forms, but are all intended to shield a spacecraft from detection by other vessels or installations. Many cloaking devices in sci-fi serve not only to conceal a craft from technological detection, but also to make the ship literally invisible to the human eye. This is of course based on entirely fictional technology, but even within the canon of many sci-fi properties, this is seen as a highly expensive and power-intensive undertaking. What many of these properties fail to realise, however, is that making a ship invisible is barely a tactical advantage at all. In any kind of realistic encounter between two spacecraft, the ships would be more than capable of communicating or firing on each other from far beyond visual range. Even the shortest ranges between two spacecraft that would be considered dangerous close-quarters encounters are vast from the perspective of a single human, and bringing two ships of realistic size close enough together for their crews to see another ship in their viewport even as the tiniest fleck of reflecting light would require an extensively coordinated rendezvous. The upshot of this is that a ship that is not burning its engines and is shielded from technological detection, either through minimal heat radiation or sensor reflective material, is for all intents and purposes invisible. Even the most brightly coloured and garishly decorated spacecraft would be impossible to locate visually unless the ship searching for it had passed within a relative hair's breadth of its target through a stroke of astronomical good luck. With this in mind, the ability to make a ship literally invisible is not nearly as valuable or worthy of expenditure as many sci-fi properties imply, only really of use when manoeuvring within a few hundred metres of a hostile ship or installation, and only if that hostile craft features any kind of viewports at all, which are of course a largely unnecessary vulnerability in a realistic setting. So if you're looking for a realistic stealth ship, look first to Mass Effect's Normandy or the Expanse's Anubis, rather than to Stargate's Puddle Jumper or Star Trek's Klingon Bird of Prey. The common attitude to toward cloaking technology is of course perfectly understandable in most low realism sci-fi or science fantasy, and often leads to some impressive visual effects and tense narrative sequences, but writers of hard science fiction or those shooting for extreme realism should constantly remind themselves of Douglas Adams' classic quote, Space is big. This is Daniel from Space Doc, signing off. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.